And we're continuing with the first chapter of The Treasure of Alpheus Winterborn. We have been introduced to Anthony, his mother and father, and his older brother Keith. The Mondays own a saloon that they call a cigar store. Anthony's mother thinks that there's never enough money in the house. Keith is 16, Anthony is 13. We don't know how old Anthony's parents are, but Anthony worries about money just as much as his mom and lays, up, lay, lays awake at night imagining that he will find a treasure someday. The next day, after school, Anthony decided to stop by the library on his way home. He did this a lot, not so much because he was a bookworm, but because he liked the librarian, Mrs. Ells, or Mrs. Eels. Miss Myra Eels was the librarian at the public library in the town of Hoosack, Minnesota, where Anthony lived. Anthony had met her one day when the two of them were browsing at the same magazine rack at a drugstore. They had gotten into a conversation, and after, they, and after that, they had gotten to be friends. Anthony liked Mrs. Eels. In many ways, she was closer to him than his own mother was, for one thing. She wasn't, he wasn't scared of Mrs. Eels. He felt comfortable with her. It wasn't the same way with his mother. She always seemed to be bawling him out or telling him that he was worthless and stupid and selfish. But with Mrs. Eels, it was different. She took Anthony seriously. She listened to him. She took time off from her work to just sit around and be with him. That meant a lot to Anthony. Mrs. Eels did other things for him, too. She bought Anthony presents and took him for rides in her car. She taught him how to play chess, and she taught him a code that had once been used by spies during the Civil War. Anthony and Miss Eels left each other messages in this code because it was fun to do. Sometimes Anthony wondered why she was so nice to him. Anthony didn't have a lot of friends, and he didn't think much of himself, that is. He didn't think he was a very wonderful person, so it was only natural that he would wonder why Mrs. Eels wanted to be friends with him. Anthony's mother was always telling him to watch out for people who are nice to you because they were only trying to butter you up so they could take advantage. Luckily for Anthony, he didn't always follow his mother's advice. He took Mrs. Eel's love for what it was and was happy with it.